it out again. Right, today I'm going to show you how you can use up stuff you've got in the cupboard that's probably going a bit stale. I've got some hot cross buns here that are not at their best. They're not mouldy, but they're a little bit hard. So I'm going to make a bread and butter pudding out of these, but a bread and butter pudding with a difference. So I'm going to cut them open. spread here, what I use for baking, and I'm just going to butter them. lemon curd on them as well because I fancy a lemon flavour. to make an egg custard. So I'm going to use half a pint of full fat milk. On this I've just bought from the co-op for 50p because it's reduced because the date's up today but it's perfectly fine for cooking with today. And look for the half pint measure on here which is hard to see. <laughs> is like right for half a pint of milk you need two eggs that's two eggs this makes your egg custard up I like to leave it out of the oven for a little while so that the bread absorbs the, the milk and the egg. And it'll take a little while because it's a little bit stale. Now if you was making just regular bread and butter pudding, you would layer this. You would butter some bread and butter, put a layer of that on the bottom, then a layer of sultana. Sometimes I put tin peaches in it to make it a little bit different. And then a layer of bread and butter on the top of that. Then you would put your egg and milk mixture on top of that. It's four eggs to a pint. So because I've used half a pint, it's two eggs. Um, and then you'd sprinkle that with some demerara sugar, um, a, a bit of nutmeg if you've got it. You could put some vanilla essence in that to make a bread and butter pudding and then bake it in the oven. I'm not putting any extra sugar in this because that lemon curd is really sweet and there's a certain amount of sweetness in the bread um, the Hot cross, Hot cross bun. buns. Um, but normally we just blend butter pudding we would. You can do it a little bit different from that. You can put maybe hot cross buns or brioche um, or stale bread rolls, stale bread, 
with butter. You can layer in between it with bananas. Put the bread on top so it's a bit like a banana sandwich. And then put cocoa powder and sugar into your egg and milk. And you've got a banana and chocolate bread and butter pudding. That would be lovely. I would have done that probably if I'd have had any bananas, but I um, wouldn't. Um, and then this is going to go into the oven. It's probably going to take about three quarters of an hour to get all the egg cooked and the milk but you'll know when it's done because it's solid it's still runny when it's not cooked but that's absorbing it now so this is going to have to go in the oven in a moment Maybe can I see if I can get that last little bit in? Oh, I need to put a little bit of lemon curd on now. I won't use that knife because I've been poking it in the raw egg. I think I can fit this piece in now. There. Yep, that's going soggy. There's all sorts of different flavoured hot cross buns that are in, on the market now. So, use your imagination with it. It doesn't have to be hot cross bun with lemon curd. It could be whatever you want to put on it, whatever you like. Now I'm going to pop that in the oven and I'll show you it when it's done. Hi, I've just taken my bread and butter pudding out of the oven. Now, this is it now. It is going to flop down a little bit when the air comes out of it. But this is it. It's um, it's took about between 35 and 40 minutes to cook. And it smells adorable. Now... Whoever does the washing up is not going to like you for this. That'll be me then. <laughs> well, you're the one that's going to enjoy this. Scientists have studied how a cough travels through the air and could carry the virus with it, and how wearing some kind of mask can reduce that flow. Whoa. Look, if you can see, the egg is cooked. And just to finish it off, now that is a real old fashioned, you see how it's sunk now, it looks a bit more impressive when it first comes out of the oven because it's all puffed up, but this is really hot because the jam or the lemon curd in it really hits the temperature, but as long as you see your egg is cooked, it's done and that is just an easy way of getting rid of one and a half hot crust buns that are a little bit stale they don't have to be stale you can use fresh ones if you want but it's a it's an easy way of getting rid of some stale bread if you don't want to feed it to the birds or the ducks or toast it it's it's good so hope you enjoy making that or a variation on the theme and look forward to seeing you soon stay alert stay safe keep washing your hands don't cough near anyone don't go near anyone coughing wear the face mask <laughs> make it as elaborate as you like and um i'll see you all soon happy baking bye